I'm Sir Tap Tap and welcome to Let's Play Split, review countless games provided by the developer. So this is... I requested this game pretty much just after seeing what it looks like, to be quite honest. Uh, it's a really nice polygony, puzzly sort of game. Spacebar. Oh! There's two of me. W... Ah. It's got some camera stuff going on. This game is surprisingly graphics intensive. He does the highlight thing. Um, I say that because I have trouble running this. Um, when I leave it all in max settings, it um, I get about 30 frames a second. I had to turn almost all the settings way down, which I I would not expect from a game like this. I mean, there's some nice shaders and stuff. It is on. I think it's Unreal Engine 4. It's definitely an Unreal Engine game. I can tell from the icon. But, um... I was not expecting to have performance issues with this game. But, uh... Sure enough. Wait. What's this button do? So obviously the basics are, you know, going through switches and using... You know, it's a self-co-op sort of game. I'm, I'm always a little impressed that the blocks don't just fall off a bridge and die when I send them along. Because you don't directly control them, you just right click and you know, it's like RTS style, You go they go to where you click. Hmm. Very bright. So... Oh! Okay, so put one on you here. And so yeah, a lot of the visual effects are toned way down. So surprised that oh, surprised that I had to do that. But uh, oops. Okay, I see. I don't know. My graphics card it, is pretty old at this point. I'm not getting a new one until the new this year's GPU refresh crap. Um, But, uh, yeah. It, it only seems to be using one CPU core on my system, too. So, I mean, I don't know if it's an optimization issue or... I honestly just can't imagine this is supremely crazy intensive. Yeah, it seems like a cool little puzzle game. Um, ah, oh crap, what price is this? The game is $10. The, for... Searching split on Google, like split game, just gives you a bunch of split screen stuff. Yeah, very pretty, obviously. I, I never really get tired of good low poly art, you know, there's... It's definitely fairly common these days, but I, I just never really get too tired of it. Hmm. Was I... Is I supposed to be on one of those? I think I was supposed to be on one of those. Okay, so... This reminds me a lot of Mario 64, that glacier level. You know the one. I was always so amazed at, you know, the scale of actually really pretty dang small levels in Super Mario 64, but at the time, you know, just felt... didn't feel small then. What does this do? Okay. But what does... Who was phone? I guess I need to see what these two do. There's a limited number of splits. I haven't reached it yet. I think these may be as small as I can go. Let's see if I can get these two buttheads to get down here. Multitasking. What's that? Oh! 
So I need two people up here. Okay, first things first, how do I get that guy down? Or back, rather. What's this one do again? I feel like way too many of my things are trapped. There's only a certain amount of your block that you need to actually get across, but uh... So I have to sacrifice this one? But to what end? Because I can't... Can I... I can't split this one anymore. Man, these one-way ones are brutal. This one does. I... Can I skip that one? Let me, let me. I just need to see if there is a skip mechanic. Tutorial Island. Stormberg. Oh wait. So this is the one. I think there is. Was that next level available or not? It doesn't seem like it, but... Ah, uh, no, there's no door. Alright. <laughs> These get kinda tricky kinda quick, but at least they require a decent amount of trial and error right off the bat. Basically just gonna split everything that I can. And... I think I want pretty much all of it to go up there. And yeah. I don't think splitting all up is bad as long as you can get all of them to the exit, but um... I don't know, I'm... I will admit to being a little confused here. Oh! Let's put one over there. I need at least three things total in here. I think that was activated by this, right? Alright, so what does this do? Oh! Okay. Alright, so that was the biggest missing piece. I think these ones can all go to the exit now. Though I'm not sure... what the point of this is. Oh, I should have sent this guy down with those two. Um. I don't think I can let him fall, no. I hope that's enough to exit the level. It is. Okay. We sacrificed a little more than ha or a little less than half of our cube, but that's fine. So I think <laughs> it's probably oop. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, I never really get tired of looking at the the whole low poly sort of thing. Okay, what's the? How do I get to that? I can't climb, so hmm. I need at least one split. It's called split. You're probably always going to need at least one split. Probably many. Come on there. 
What is this? Do these fall? Oh no! Okay, so you can make mistakes in this. Is he stuck? I can't even select- What? I got stuck. Even after splitting, he's stuck. Well, that's a little annoying. Right, so that's why this thing fell. It just wiggles. Like, they're, they're donut lifts. That's what they are. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna make a bridge for the donut lifts. Or, we're gonna, yeah, make a bridge out of the donut lifts, rather. Oh, for Pete's sake. So if you're too close to an edge, the game's just like, nah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna allow this. Oh boy. Okay. So. Wait. What? I think I can get most of this out. Uh oh. Hmm. Maybe I should just sacrifice just one. And can you? No, you can't escape. Okay, this one can escape. Alright. Maybe just. Let this one flee to the exit. I guess you can do this one just by sacrificing one or, you know, making... I think if I made them tiny and made just the right ones fall, I could make it. But this is good enough for me. Alright. Definitely requires using your head a little bit there. Okay, so... Ugh, it's so pretty! And I love that the... Yeah, a problem with a lot of puzzle games, the little- oops, dead. Um, no, why? It's a massacre. Um, yeah, they'll use the same visual theme- aw, oh, crap. A bunch of different- um, a bunch of different times, and this is just, you know, the visuals never really wear themselves out. Uh-oh. Okay. What's... I... Pardon? Oh! What? I think this one's dead. I think it was supposed to- okay, let's do this again. I should probably put more than one on this thing, so... I think I'm supposed to let all of these fall? Because they seem to bridge the gaps? Wait, not... not all the way on. So, uh, this one's a little... I don't know how to... Uh... Hey, that's one way to do it. I don't think I can get back over now. What is hmm. Can I... No. Wait. What? Oh, okay. So, honestly, just splitting them all at the start seems to be a safe, but probably like lower score way to do things. Also a little more tedious, but uh, I don't know. 
It's less tedious than having to replay the level a billion times. sure if I'm supposed to let these fall, but uh, let's see here. I'm not sure I can get this one down, but I can get that and that down. And now... Oh, that's a permanent? Oh no. Okay, I'm down at least two then. Wait. Hmm. What's this do? Ah, so that'll rescue this guy. But I need him to actually break that. But I need him to not fall on it, which I don't think is possible. I don't have enough things over here, do I? Oh wait, if you get any to the exit! Okay, that's more forgiving than I thought. I figured it was like 50%. But no, so the real difficulty is, you know, get everybody to the goal. Right, we're clearly stretching my brain already at this point. Or per maybe I should say splitting my brain. Wait, jungle crisis slot. Oh, I need to go back and get more... progress points, I guess? Right, so how many did I miss? That's three. That's another three. Okay, so I missed a fair amount. But yeah, that's... You know, you get the idea of split, so it looks like we're, what's that, a third maybe of the way through, but you know, I'm sure all of these are way harder than any of the ones we've got before. I'm not sure if that's all the levels. Wait, what's, I think that's three complete cubes, so I have to go back and get, like, on one of these easier ones. Um, what else was there in the main menu? So there's a level editor, I don't have it unlocked yet. It's a nice set of graphics options. You can't really see what they look like in-game until you, you know, exit out of this menu, though. As you can see, I had to go pretty dang low to get... I'm running on a Radon 6950, which is ancient, but, uh... I would figure would run this, to be quite honest, and I... Um... i7-4-770K, you know, pretty decent recent, um, Intel processor, but whatever. That is Split. It is on Steam. Link in the description as always. Check it out.